Hey guys, my name is Scarlett Johansson and today we are creating the happiest cake in the entire world. We're making a Happy Meal cake. You think your cake is happy? Your cake is the saddest cake I've ever seen compared to this cake. Oh, you like your cake? Is your cake a Happy Meal box? No. Sad. Super sad. Very sad. I love the way this cake turned out, so let's get started. Now, if you like the videos I produce on this channel, make sure you give this one a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Now for this cake, I'm using Funfetti cake and I baked square cakes. So six inch square cakes. And I wanted this to have like sprinkles in the middle because you know when you get a Happy Meal and you get like a toy? I was like, oh, I want there to be a surprise. But no toy, just sprinkles. I decided to go with Funfetti because Funfetti is super happy. Everybody loves Funfetti cakes. Look how happy that is. This is the happiest cake in the world, which calls for Funfetti. Yes, look at those four looking so beautiful. Now I'm mixing a whole bunch of sprinkles and just adding them into the middle. We got some pearl sprinkles, chocolate sixlets. I love the colors of these sprinkles too. It looks like a, I don't know, 1970s teenage party. These are the kind of sprinkles I would assume that they use for a party like that. I'm adding more buttercream and adding my final layer of cake. I gave this cake a crumb coat and I placed it into the fridge to set up. While my cake was chilling, I was watching some Netflix and I was watching Stuart Little. Now, if you've never seen Stuart Little, go to Netflix, stop watching this YouTube show, whatever this is, and go watch it on Netflix. It's got everything you want. It's got a tiny mouse with Michael J. Fox's voice. It's got that kid from Jerry Maguire and it's got Thelma and Louise, one of them. I forgot which one she was, Gina Davis, which one was she? Was she Thelma? Was she Louise? I don't know, I can't remember. And it's got House. I loved this movie when I was little and the little boy, he's, uh, he's so cute. Those oversized eyeglasses are everything. So go check it out. Now let's get back to this cake. So when I took my cake out of the fridge, I started to carve the top of the Happy Meal box. You know, it's kind of just a house. I'm pretty much just making a basic house. Like when your five-year-old nephew draws a house, this is the kind of house he draws. Very simple, and that's the kind of cake I'm creating. Now this cake is actually gonna have more than just a crumb coat, it's gonna have a fix-it coat as well. I've never really made a cake that has had straight sides like this, and so I used the second coat of buttercream to ensure that I had a really flat surface for my fondant. I know I'm gonna be paneling like a whole bunch of red fondant, so I wanna make sure all of my corners are perfect. And then I started to panel. Placed it in the freezer so that my fondant would be easier to work with and I just started paneling it on the side. I'm paneling all four sides and then into the fridge to chill for a little bit so that the fondant can solidify and I can cut away the excess a lot easier. And then added on two rectangles to create the top of the cake. Look at that. Now we're gonna add the McDonald's handle with toothpicks and the signature smile because yo, the Happy Meal always brings a smile to your face. If it doesn't, then you're not getting the right one. Somebody's jipping you. And voila, my Happy Meal cake was complete. I'm very pleased with this cake. It's very simple and I did it like really quick. Usually cakes, it takes me like probably like three or four days because I like get lazy. But this cake, I started in the morning and by like 10 o'clock the same day I had a final product so I was really pleased. The next day was when I decided to cut this baby and out came all of the sprinkles. Oh look how that gosh I'm so proud. You're looking so good Happy Meal. You're looking so good. I make a lot of cakes on this channel but all of them pale in comparison to the happiness of this cake. Now I'm curious, what kind of cake would you like to see me make next? I don't know if I can make a better cake than this. Probably better quality, but the excitement and the happiness, no. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.